I've just got back from being on holiday. I got back yesterday afternoon. I'm just like, let's stay in holiday mode because then I might actually try and be productive. Although, how easy is it to stay on holiday mode? Like right now I'm still feeling great. I'm feeling on top of the world because the sun is shining. I woke up at half nine today. <laughs> Naturally, may I add, no alarm. 9.30, do you know how, that is the crack of dawn. That is when sun is rising. And it's not, but it feels like that. I thought, wow, what an early riser I am. Early bird catches the worm. Although I just stay in bed until what? It's 10 to 11, shit. Kind of fucked that over. Today, I'm just, I've woken up feeling like I want to spread love. <laughs> I bite my nails right, and I think yesterday I must have, so I bit all my acrylics off. <laughs> Love these gorgeous little nails that I have. Look at them, they're so beautiful. This is probably the longest my nails have ever I been. I bit my nail yesterday and I like felt it. In, uh, that's actually disgusting because I don't even bite them and like I'm literally admitting that I'm a dirty little rat right here right now. The amount of bacteria <laughs> in my stomach from this is awful. I must have like bit one of my nails, swallowed it and it like got caught. I, like, let me just not do up all dentistry. It must have got caught like in the back of my throat or something because I felt it and I was trying to like get it out but I couldn't and now I think it might have like slightly pissed my throat or something because I've got a bit of a sore throat now but I'm not gonna let that ruin our day so what I'm gonna do I'm literally I'm just gonna try to get ready quickly and just get out because I need to be back for six so I'm like do you know what the thing is when I've got something to do like so this thing I, I need to do something at six I need to be back for that but like there's a lot of hours in the day before 6pm. I've still got loads of time, you know? But my toxic trait is, if I do have something, I'm just like, no, that's me. That's me for the day. That's my only plan. That's all I'm doing because I'm not going to have time to do anything else. I need to stop that. I need to live in the moment. I need to live for every second of every day. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to quickly unpack some bits. I've put all the dirties in the washing, so I just need to put some stuff away. Because, yeah, we've got one of these on Amazon. It's one of them Ryan Airbag things. Well, actually, I think this one's slightly bigger because it has an extension. About that, I think that's like the Ryan Airbag. But I went on like that because I'm a rebel. I'm rebellious. I stole a straw from the beach club. I'm just too much. Yeah, I've got bare toothbrushes for no reason. Well, actually, for brushing my teeth, obviously, but... I have just literally thrown on a dress from Zara. But if you want a dress to throw on, they literally get these. They're so good. You know when you like, it's just too hot to even think about an outfit. Bang. And oh my god. So when I was on holiday, burnt my bum. You might you might know this already if you watched my last video. I burnt my bum. Like on the last day, I was laying like this, trying to catch the sun. So I got nothing on my back at all. Like my back was. Like, it looked like it was glowing in the dark. I was just laying in the sun, and I didn't put enough sun cream on, so make sure you wear your sun cream, guys. It is so important. Because I burnt my bum, and all the backs of my legs, and I could hardly sit down for about two days. So that wasn't really very fun. It is still, like, a little bit stinging, so it's just easy to throw this on. Nice material. I didn't want to wear trousers, because I was like, it's going to rub my legs. <laughs> I love parcels so much. If it's, like, gifted stuff, like PR, or stuff I've bought, I'm just like, wow, it feels like Christmas. Oh my god, that's sick. That is sick. My outfit really isn't matching this vibe today. Also, ignore my ponytail. Look how tiny it is. I really want hair extensions, guys. I really do. Look how tiny my ponytail is. This is from La Femme Amsterdam. Thank you guys so much. That's so cute. This is going to look so cute with, like, cargos. Oh my god, I feel like the fit of that's actually going to be really nice. The material is so good. Do you know what? I've really wanted a t-shirt that fits me nicely for so long because all i wear is crop tops and i'm kind of like getting sick of it i've had something in my eye for literally like an hour I cannot get it out it's a little hair and i can see it but i can't grasp it like i can't get it bloody bugging life enemy we're gonna try some stuff what the f is that? <laughs> i'm not gonna lie to you i don't even know like why i'm trying for fun like is this for holiday is this holiday kind of thing not too sure maybe it where is where else would i wear it realistically i don't know who, who knows because I end up wearing stuff and then never wearing it. Everything I'm trying to just imagine with makeup on and my hair done. Well, just clean. I just try this one on. It's not doing much for the old booby. But I was thinking, does this give Sabrina Carpenter vibes? I'm not sure. Like I've got Sabrina Carpenter concert. I don't know whether to. I don't think I like this. I'm changed. 
change. I've literally got my birthday dress on. I did my makeup. And now my plans that I was meant to do at six have been cancelled. So to Tilly because she's just finished her GCSE exam. She had her last week today, which is I can't remember when I was her age. Back in the day. Congratulations and celebrate. Oh. Tilly's breaking up the gas. Okay, Tilly doesn't want to be in it. No way. Hello, pretty baby. Is the lead. This is a swap tag. Yep. Wow. That even took a turn. So let's move on. I'm so sorry for your loss. I feel so much lighter like a feather with you on my mind. Listen, Sabby. Sabs. So we can't hit me up and we'll, we can like collab. I'll feature on a song if you really want me to. Yes, baby, you had it here. We are going to see Sabrina Carpenter. I literally, I'm such a good singer. I'm so good. I'm literally so good. Today I'm going to see my wife. I'm so proud of her. What a ledge. What a legend. Am I gonna sneeze or not? Jesus. I am ready. No, I'm not ready. I am ready to get ready. I went and got my nails done. We got the French tip. I fucking love French tip. I am in the middle of putting like a little hair mask in. I need to put my rosemary oil in. Mm -hmm. So I want long hair. Hopefully it will grow uh, by tonight. I just want that much. That's not too much to ask for, is it? Got my outfit ready. Oh, you can't even see. Basically, I can't move to iron it, so do you know what I did? I just laid it out. And I'm hoping that will do something. The power of love. Am I right, ladies? It's like half two. Doors open at seven. The thing is, I've got standing tickets. And standing, love it. All for it. However, I'm really small. So I actually prefer having seated tickets. Because obviously seats are kind of like higher up. So it's like, at least I can see. So I'm kind of scared because I'm not one of these ones that are going to be there seven hours before camping to get to the front. And like race everyone. Because I also have a fear of like, you know, when you're running in a group of people... I feel like I'm just gonna fall flat on my face, so I don't want to do that. Anyway, it's gonna put some rules. Oh! Oh! It tickles me, it tickles my head. Look how bad this hair is. Oh my god. Oh my god! Do you guys think my wife is gonna wanna wife me back? God, I look a sight better than I did earlier. Almost ready to go! I'm actually really excited. I feel like I'm gonna be in fangirl mode today. I feel like we should be fangirls. Because sometimes it's nice to be a little bit of a fangle, you know, it's kind of fun. A bit of excitement in the old life. This is my dress that I'm wearing. It's from Bershka. It's not very me. I don't really like it, to be totally honest. But I feel like it gives kind of Sabrina vibes, so that's what we're gonna do. I was gonna wear some little white boots, but I think I just prefer the cowboy boots. I don't really, I don't think the white boot boots look very nice on me. We are on our way. I have to get two buses on my own now, which is kind of awkward because I know I'm gonna get stuck. My wife's slave with our sold out show. I'm so proud of her. Little boy today. Arsenal, we're playing. Um, this is the fit, fit of the day. But just got home, so it is 6 p.m. Hi, by the way, how are you? Just got some food. Got myself some spicy salt and pepper chicken, which is like my latest. So option. I'm gonna munch this because I found a new place, and I love it. I love it. But my usual place is closed, which I'm kind of sad about. But it's only closed for like a week, so it's not too bad. I can, I can, I can live. Oh, little oh. curious story about this food. But I'm not even gonna tell you. Ugh, sorry. Sorry about I'm it. I'm sweating. I have another top on underneath because I didn't want to wear a bra. So I was like, oh, I'll just wear a different top. I'd have a red top. You're such an enthusiastic football supporter. Yeah. Also, I made loads of friends today. Like, loads of people were trying to talk to me at the bus stop about my shirt. This is the thing. I can't really wear this because, yes, I'm an Arsenal supporter, but only really because, like. No, I love Arsenal. Love you, Arsenal, babe. But. You know, I mean, you're a support because like, you're born into it, basically. That's basically me. But, like, still love them. I need to get ready really quickly, like, within the next half an hour because... I am going to shoot with my friend Brooklyn because he's got, like, this cool studio and stuff. And we've been meaning to shoot for ages. My schedule has just been clashing with his a lot. Like, a lot. So, we're going to finally do it. But, yeah, I need to get ready really quickly because I'm meant to be ready at, like, half six. <laughs> love, love I don't it. know how I'm going to be ready within the next half an hour. Look at me. I'm gonna take off this makeup, I've only got like a little bit on, and then redo my makeup, 
choose some freaking outfits. I've got one outfit in mind. My food. She actually, she looks kind of dry today, but she's cute. Finished my food. It was lovely. But I f***ing scuffed it up. It's literally 6 23. So, that's bad. But I think I'm like in my Ariana Grande era because I'm listening to her and I'm like, mmm. Ariana Grande is a baddie and I didn't realise that she was a baddie. Like, she's a bad bitch, I feel. Like, I feel like she kind of is. She gives that energy, like, in her songs, but, like, I didn't realise. I was gonna try and get, like, all creative with my makeup and do something crazy and new. I was gonna try put eyelashes on the lot, but I'm not gonna do that anymore because I don't wanna mess it up and then take even longer than I already am. You would actually think I'm going away for the weekend. I'm using this big fat bag that I bring when I go on holiday. Yep. Just full of random outfits. Because I literally didn't know what to bring. I had like one thing in mind. So now I've just thrown loads of stuff in here. Don't know what's in here. Haven't even brought any makeup to top myself up. But oh my god, that's a joke. Surely I can't turn up like this. Oh, I need to go. He's messaging me. <sighs> we in the studio. Shout out Mia Squared. What's in? He's just gone toilet quickly, and then I think we're gonna like get started, bring up some ideas. It took us like an hour to get here though, so it's. It's five past eight, so I don't know how the lighting's gonna be. He does have like some lights, but there's like a massive window there, so I don't know how it's gonna, don't know how it's gonna turn out, but you know what? It's fun. It's like fun to do. They've got like an event going on downstairs as well. Oh, they've got some books over here, and I've spotted Nicholas Sparks. I've never read a Nicholas Sparks book, but I love some of the films from Nicholas Sparks, like Dijon, The Notebook. Sorry, The Notebook is like my favorite film ever. Safe Haven is by Nicholas Sparks. Shut up. This is See Me. So if anyone's read this, let me know how it is. I've never read a Nicholas Sparks book, but I really want to because I've literally just read the prologue of that. And, it's, and it sounds good. 